How to Give Sodium Bicarbonate IV Push If you're a healthcare professional looking to understand how to administer sodium bicarbonate via an IV push, you're in the right place. Let's break down the steps and guidelines to ensure you do it safely and effectively. First, it's important to know that sodium bicarbonate is used to treat metabolic acidosis and can be critical in emergency situations like cardiac arrest. Here's how you can administer it. Dosage and preparation. For adults, the typical dose for an IV push in cardiac arrest or severe metabolic acidosis is 1 to 2 millimetal kilograms or 1 to 2 millimetal kilograms of body weight. This translates to about 1 to 2 millilitres per kilograms of an 8.4% sodium bicarbonate solution. Administration method. Sodium bicarbonate can be given undiluted in many cases, especially in emergency situations. However, it's crucial to administer it carefully. For an IV push, you can use the pre-filled 50 millimeter syringe or vials. It's recommended to give the dose over a few minutes rather than rapidly pushing it all at once. For example, you might give 50 milliliters, 44.6 to 50 milliq, over five to 10 minutes, depending on the patient's condition and blood gas results. Monitoring and adjustments. Always monitor the patient's arterial blood pH, PaO2, and other vital signs during and after administration. This helps you adjust the dose as needed. In cardiac arrest, you might need to repeat the dose every 10 minutes based on the patient's response and blood gas monitoring. Potential side effects and precautions. Be aware that rapid infusion of sodium bicarbonate can cause a spike in blood pressure due to the correction of acidosis, which allows catecholamines to work more effectively. It can also lead to hypernatremia and hyperosmolarity. Additionally, there is a risk of cerebral edema and intracranial hemorrhage, especially in preterm infants. Administration route. Preferably, administer sodium bicarbonate through a central line to avoid the risk of extravasation, which can cause skin necrosis. If a central line is not available, use a large peripheral vein to minimize the risk of irritation and necrosis. Special considerations. In infants and young children, it's recommended to dilute the sodium bicarbonate solution to avoid rapid changes in pH and osmolarity. For adults, however, dilution is not typically necessary unless specified by the patient's condition or institutional protocol. By following these guidelines, you can ensure that sodium bicarbonate is administered safely and effectively, helping to correct metabolic acidosis and improve patient outcomes. Always consult standard texts and institutional protocols for specific dosage, calculations, and adjustments based on the patient's condition.